In the time that I have been alive, the world's population has grown at the fastest rate in history. From approximately 2.7 billion in 1955 to 7.7 .7 billion today. In just 65 years, the world's population has grown exponentially, and along with it, so has the production of plastic. Polyethylene has been around since 1941. DuPont chemists developed it while experimenting with polymers to make textiles. And in 1973, Nathaniel Wyeth, another DuPont chemist, patented the first PET bottle, or plastic bottle as we know it today. It was lightweight, safe, cheap, and recyclable. In an article by National Geographic, it was stated that a million plastic drink bottles were purchased each minute as of 2017. The greatest invention of the century has possibly become the greatest problem, and all in the course of a single generation. Now you would think that Mount Everest would be too isolated to fall victim to the issue of plastic pollution. Well, maybe not. The Washington Post ran an article on June 6, 2019, reporting that 24,000 pounds of garbage had been removed from the site by a cleanup team. If we need to have a designated cleanup team to remove plastic waste from possibly the most remote place on Earth, then I think we have a problem. According to the Plastic Soup Foundation website, the worldwide consumption of plastic is still rising. In 2016, 480 billion plastic bottles were sold, and in 2021, that will increase to 583 billion. According to research completed by Euromonitor, the enormous demand for plastic bottles is largely the result of the urbanization of China. Now, personally, I think it's unfair to put the blame on the urban growth of China. The reality is, we all must take responsibility. Every country, every government, city, town, and person. In the last 100 years since 1920, the world's population has grown from 1.7 billion to 7.7 billion. So the question is, why is there so much plastic in the world? Well, this is my theory. The exponential growth of the last hundred years has placed an enormous strain on the global production of food along with other goods. In order to transport this food and keep it fresh, it must either be frozen, or in the case of fresh produce, such as vegetables and fruit, wrapped in plastic to retain a longer shelf life. With that in mind, it is almost impossible to shop in a supermarket today without finding everything from drinks to produce wrapped in plastic. Everything from garlic to cucumbers, garden furniture and toys, and eventually this will all end up in our landfills. We are only just getting to grips with how long it will take for plastic to decompose, and our best guess is between 20 and 500 years. There is also another issue. Given the amount of commuting that we do, it seems that we have less and less time in a day. And with that, something has to suffer. With less time, we have to cut corners, but we still need to eat and drink while at work. And of course, it's easier to buy something than it is to make it. And that something usually comes wrapped in plastic. Given the demand for packaging of all kinds, and especially plastic, it's hardly a surprise that the amount of recycling plants within Great Britain are starting to struggle. In the town where I live, we have a population of approximately 88,000, and we have one recycling centre open to the public. And this is only open five days a week at present, and it's not unusual to have a two-hour wait in order to access the plant. The point of all this is not to place blame or point fingers. The greatest invention of the century has simply become the greatest problem. The reason we have so much plastic in the world is simple. Demand. As simplistic as it sounds, it's just that. We have become so heavily reliant on plastic packaging, bottles, garden furniture and, well, pretty much everything. 
We have substituted plastic for wood because trees are crucial to the environment and metal because it's lighter. In part, it's how we've been able to fly so cheaply and get a person into space. The question is, how do we reduce our reliance on single-use plastic?